Back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Reese Gold, who will drive one of the Hump Coast Racing cars in the Indy Next series. How's it going, man? Good. Thanks for having me on. How are you? Doing well. So uh, talk about this opportunity. Of course, um, uh, it was announced that Hump Coast would return back to Indy Next um, for 2023. Uh, how exciting is it to uh, to do this? Yeah, I'm excited. You know, I had a great two years with them in Indy Pro. Now I think called USF Pro. Um, they had a year off in Indy in Indy Next, but they were super strong with VK and Stingray. So I'm looking forward to it. The, it's an awesome car. The field stack. So I'm really looking forward to uh, continue my my reign my with Hunko's Hollinger. Yeah. Yeah, so you just talk about that. Of course, you've been with this team for a long time. Just uh, overall, how ex- how exciting uh, how exciting is it to you know be with these guys and and take that next step? Yeah, it's great to continue with them. It's always nice to stay with the same team. You know, you become familiar with the mechanics, the engineers, you know, all the staff on the team, and it really helps. You know, we can grow together. I think, you know, even though they have experience in Indian X, they did take a year off, so this is kind of their, you know year back and I think we can both learn a lot and uh hopefully get some wins and continue uh Ricardo's um journey in Indian X and IndyCar yeah so going into um you know this season a lot of the tracks that you know you you are very familiar with obviously some new ones that you haven't been to you know you know Detroit's obviously one um you know there's going to be more ovals on there like yep like um, WWT Raceway and Iowa and all them, but just how, but just, but just overall, how exciting is it to, you know, go to some of these new places that you haven't been to? Yeah, I'm really looking forward. There's, like you said, a lot, Detroit, Nashville should be really fun. Really looking forward to Laguna. I have done that once, but that was like five years ago. So that's kind of new for me still. So really looking forward. I love Laguna Seca. That's an awesome track. And then also Iowa, that looks like a nice little short track there. So a lot of it's going to be a fun year with a lot of new tracks. I'm looking forward to it. So, so kind of talk about just, um, you know, this is probably the most competitive field um, in, in the series since, uh, since forever. Um, lots of cars in there. I mean, obviously since, you know, since uh, IndyCar has kind of taken back control of, of the thing and nothing against Anderson promotions, they did a great job running it. Um, it's just, uh, it's just more entries are coming in and it's, uh, it's, it's fun. This is probably going to be the most competitive field it's been in a long time. Yeah, it's going to be really competitive, you know, after the, they had a couple of seasons with like eight drivers. Now we have, oh, I think 16 drivers and a lot of them coming from Indy Pro. So their experience in the road to Indy and the track. So it's going to be a really tight field. And now that IndyCar owns it, that just, you know, Anderson did a great job, but IndyCar is just, they're IndyCar, so you know, they bring a lot more to the series. And I think that's what's attracted all these people. And yeah, it's just going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to, I mean, probably the whole field is going to be separated by almost nothing. So it's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, What's it been like, you know, and also another big piece of the season, uh, the Firestone tire um, you guys are going to be running. I know, I'm not sure that you've, uh, that you tested with that, with the Firestone or you had to test with the, the Cooper tires which of course would, which is what all of the USF Pro Championship Series will be using. Um, but overall, going into um, going into that, how, how different is it going to be? Yeah, I mean, I haven't driven it yet. I did my tests on the Coopers, but the Firestones look seem to be more grip, more grippy. They come in faster, but you know, the degradation might be more or less. We don't know. But I'm, you know, it's really nice to be on the same tire as Indy cars, and I think it's really going to change the car because they have it looks like they're gonna have a lot more grip and we're going to be able to get a lot more out of the car. So I think the car is already a beast, but I think it's just going to be a whole nother animal with these firestones. And it's also going to bounce everything out, you know, with the people that have driven last year in the team. So it should reset everything a little bit and it'll make it interesting. Definitely. That's for for sure. And then just, um, just overall, um, this is kind of like you've, you've had some solid years. I know, um, but what, what do you feel like this year is your, your kind of goal is you kind of enter in a new series? I mean, yeah, obviously, as a race car driver, you always want to try and win, try and win the championship. But it is my first year. So I always try and set reasonable expectations, always high goals for myself, but also reasonable because, you know, I think it might be a two year deal in Indy next, you know, run two years, but we'll see. 
So obviously I just, you know, want to do good, do the best I can, get some wins, podiums, and get some results for the teams and grow with the team. And then we can come back maybe 2024 and come back even stronger. All right. Well, Reese, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us and best of luck uh, uh, in 2023 and Indy next. Awesome. Thanks for having me on.